Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In today's video, we're going to be looking at three types of media you can insert into your Google Slides that are going to allow you to make these more engaging, interesting and above all more professional so let's dive into it now the first thing we need is a google slides now we either create a new one in your google drive or open up an existing slides now i already have my slides open and i'm going to go to that insert menu now the media we're looking at right now is going to be images now when you select images you will be presented with six different options to insert images now the first option is to manually upload from your computer now this is where you have a local file stored and you'd like to upload it to then use in your slideshow the second option is to use the built-in search functionality and this is what I always tell my students to use because this is a safe search that means that Google has already selected images that have been labeled for reuse. This is not only a safe way of inserting images, it's also allowing your students to not leave the platform and insert and search for images within Google Slides. And then when you look further down, there's an additional four options. The first one is an image stored on your Google Drive. The second one, an image stored in your Google Photos. And depending on the account you use, you may or may not have access to Google Photos. If you do have access to Google Photos, I highly recommend it. I will be doing a follow-up video about Google Photos because in my opinion, it's an incredibly useful platform. Then we have by URL, and this is where you have a hosted image and you have that URL of that image. And then the final one, this is where you're going to be using the built-in webcams to create an image from scratch. Now, these are the options that you have to insert images and depending on the one that you select, you can now insert your image. Now I'm going to quickly demonstrate what this looks like with the search functionality. And so I'm going to select search for an image. This opens up a side box and I can now type in anything I want. I'm going to be typing in Acer. Now once I type in Acer, you'll see that all these different images show up and I'm going to insert the first image I see. There we go, we click on insert and we now have that image in our slideshow. So now let's go down to a second slide. Now this is also going to be the second type of media that we're inserting into our slideshow. And what we're going to insert this time is a video. Now go ahead and go back to that insert menu and then select video. Now just as before we had different ways of doing this and within video we are presented with a number of different ways. The first is similar to the image search and this is where you're going to search on YouTube. So you can search for certain terms and again this is a safe search. It's not perfect but it does make a huge difference. It's by using the specific URL of a video and this can be a YouTube video that you have the URL of. And then the final option is by using videos stored on your Google Drive. Now I often use the URL option because this allows me to insert unlisted YouTube videos. Whereas if I were to search for those videos, I would not find them. However, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the search and I'm going to search for the term Acer for education. Now the first video that shows up, you can see it right here, is all about Acer in education and I'm going to insert this video right now. Once that video has been inserted, you have a number of formatting options. Now when you go to those formatting options, there are some playback options that you can play with. You can set a start time, end time, you can mute it or even automatically start the video as soon as you come onto this slide. This is incredibly useful for presentations in the classroom and do tell your students about this because it allows them to use video and have that sound muted. And then on to the third type of media you can insert within a Google Slides and this is a big one because it is a very new feature. Now it has rolled out before and then it was pulled back by Google and now it's back and by the end of the month November every account should have access to insert audio. So we now have insert audio in our insert menu. So go ahead and click on insert audio. And do note if you don't see it yet just be patient you will see it show up very soon. And this now brings you straight to your Google Drive. As you notice, there is no upload functionality here. It is just four different areas within your Google Drive. The first one is the My Drive. This is your main drive where you store all your files. The second one is your shared drives and these are drives shared with others. Then you have shared with me so you can also insert files that were shared by others and then insert those audio files. 
And then the final one is your recent. Now I would highly recommend that you upload your file just before using it to your Google Drive. That way you can easily locate it in your recent tab. Now once you've done this and the audio file is now on your slide, again you will see there are some format options. Within these format options, you can now find audio playback. Now the audio playback is important because this is where you can tweak not only the volume of your file, but also how it is played back. The first thing we have to select is when does our file start playing? Does this start playing when I click it? Or does it automatically start playing as soon as I come to this slide? Now the other two functions we have here, and we can tick these boxes, are either to loop the file continuously, and then the second option there is to stop the file whenever our slide changes. So let's say that you want to have some background music and you want it playing as you go through many different slides, well then you would untick this box. This way the file will play as you go through your different slides. Now I'm very excited about this function. I've been waiting for audio a very long time and it is finally here. So in this video we looked at three types of media that you can insert into your slides. This is part of your Google Educator preparations and I hope that you successfully continue learning more about these different products. This was another Tips and Tricks with AppSavants and Acer and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.